Now, one of the types of marketing materials that you will be creating all of the time are info products such as ebooks, ebook covers, workbooks, checklists that you can use as content upgrades. You'll be using lead magnets or creating lead magnets, um, one-time offers, client sheets, supplements to your online courses or action sheets to your online courses and workshops, or even products that you plan to sell. So it is a really good idea to use Canva to create all of these various pieces that you are going to want to use to basically build and promote and um, create products for your blog and your business. So Canva has a few different templates that you can choose from. Okay, there is actually an ebook template and a US letter template. I highly recommend using the US letter template. Okay, and this is going to make it easier for your people to actually print it out on the standard eight and a half by 11 inches, you know, sheet of paper. So every template that you click on has its own set of pre-formatted, pre-designed layouts. And if you ever find that you are lacking in the creativity area, all you need to do is just kind of browse through the Canva layouts and use the layouts available to you to kind of jumpstart your creativity and get some of the inspiration and the juices flowing. So once you choose a layout, you can always customize it. Okay, you can change the brand fonts, you can change the layout, you can reposition some of the graphic elements that are in there. Okay, so all of those things are options for you. So let's say that you want to create a workbook template for an online course that you're going to be creating. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to choose the US letter template. So let's start off with that. And on the left hand side of your dashboard, you will see a number of pre-formatted layouts. So just choose one, choose one that kind of stands out to you and choose the one that you want to um, use to build out your workbook. So we're going to want to customize this and we're going to want to make sure that it is on brand. So we can change the background, we can add or upload an image, and you can even add a color overlay. So all you're doing is basically just like we did when we created our social media graphic, you're using the same steps to really build the layers of your piece of content, of your design. You can add a color overlay, you can adjust the transparency, and once you have the background set, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to add a title, give your workbook a title, and you may even want to give it a subheading or a subtitle. So make sure that people can read it. And one of the things that I like to do is um, in my design, I will download it and print it so that I can actually see how it looks printed out and then I can make any adjustments from there. So just make sure that your people can read it, that you can read it, and that the font size is large enough and that it is bold and that it stands out. You can play around with the color, you can play around with the positioning, you can center it, you can offset it to the left or to the right depending on how you want it to show up on the page. And then you want to make sure that you have a few other important elements on your um, cover. So let's just go through those very quickly. You wanna make sure that you have your website URL and that it is somewhere on the page, preferably at the bottom. You can also position it in the center, or like I said before, you can offset it to the left or to the right. And in this example, we are going to position our URL on the bottom right-hand side. And then you may even want to include your logo or your name as the creator of this workbook or this ebook. So the next step is to start building out additional pages, your interior pages. So again, we can format our own pages or grab a pre-formatted page from the left-hand side under the Canva layout section. So let's just choose this one here. And there are a few standard pages that you may want to add to an ebook in addition to your cover page. You may want to add or have a disclaimer page or a copyright page. You may want to have a table of contents page and possibly a call to action page at the end where you upsell them or introduce them into a paid product if this is a freebie. 
So then of course you have all of your content pages or interior pages in between where you'll have your text and all of your supporting content. So on our first page, you can add a section heading title or a chapter title on the top left hand side. Okay, so we can do something like lesson one and then you can add a subtitle if it is appropriate or necessary. And then you have the body of your content, which is going to be in the middle of your page. So you can edit the text, you can space it out how you want it, and you can essentially adjust the font that you use and resize it how you want it. You can also add a subheading or subtitle to separate sections and incorporate some visual graphic elements as well, just to add some more visual interest so that your ebook isn't you know, super boring. And then on the bottom of your pages, you are going to want to make sure that again, you have your website URL. And in this example, we can add a text block and position it in the bottom left hand side. You can also center it in the middle or on the right side, depending on what it is that you want to do or how you want it to look. Okay. And then on the right side of our page, we can add a second text box and let's add the name of the workbook along with the page number and you want this text to be small so anywhere between 10 and 12 point is fine Now, if you want to create a page with an image background or a solid color background, you can simply add a new page, click the button here that says add a new page, and then you can upload the image or edit the color background for that particular page. And then you can go to grids over here on the left hand side under elements, or you can actually go to shapes and you can choose the square option. And what you can do, you can then edit the color, the transparency, if you'd like. And in this case, in this example, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we want to um, make it a white background so that your text actually shows up really well, okay, in contrast with the black print. Then we can go in and we can add our text or we can even copy and paste some of the same design elements that we used on the previously formatted pages. And a good idea is to simply create a few different um, interior page templates that you can use. And basically what you can do is once you have that page template created, you can simply click to um, or look on the right hand side and you'll see a icon that has two pages like the double pages is right underneath the one and you can start to duplicate those pages. Okay, so you can create all of your interior pages and kind of create design templates. And then as you um, begin to build out your workbook or whatever it is that you're creating, instead of creating a entirely new page, you can just click the icon and it'll copy or duplicate that page for you. So it just makes it super easy. And then you can just go in and insert the text or insert the copy that you want on that particular page. So if you want to create a page where there is a note section or an area where people can actually write down their answers on a, a line, then you can simply click on the text box and hold down the dash button on the top right hand side of your computer keyboard to create a dashed line or you can hold down the shift button and the dash button at the same time and this will create a solid line okay so very very simple and then you can space the lines out using the space key but just keep in mind that it will adjust all of the text in that particular text box so what i like to do is to um, simply hit the return button or the return key twice and then use that to add additional space or height 
between each line so there is enough room to write without your lines being too crowded okay so there may be an instance where you want to add say a call out box or use geometrical elements to organize or group content or add additional visual interest so to achieve this type of look you're going to want to go to elements you can choose shapes and in this example we are going to choose the circle so let's resize the circle and let's change the color so let's say that we want to have three circles on our page we will copy this two more times so just highlight the image you can copy it two more times and then let's use the transparency option to create different shades or um, a gradient across the three different circles or the three circles so that they have some variation to them so these circles are looking a little bit plain so let's go back over uh, to the dashboard on the left hand side let's click on elements again and we're going to choose icons this time and let's add a few icons so let's see here um, we can choose these math icons here and let's choose the plus sign that is um, in the circle has the outline of the circle so you can see here that the icon is a bluish teal type color but once you add it to your canvas, you can actually change this color so that it matches your brand colors. Okay, so let's add a couple more icons. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to resize them. And then let's just center them within our circles so that there is one icon centered in each of the larger pink circles. And from here, we can then change the icons to white or, you know, really light gray, something that gives a really strong contrast. So once we've done that, we can add a text box on the left hand side of the circle and we can just insert some more content. This is where we can add more content. So if you want to, let's say, add a checklist, if you want to create a checklist, you can simply duplicate the previous page and then what you're going to want to do you're going to reposition your text boxes and add small radial circles or check boxes and i typically use check boxes that are 25 by 25 pixels and all you need to do is go to your dashboard on the left hand side choose elements click on shapes and then you're going to want to choose one of the boxes that has an outline but no color fill okay so there's no color within the actual square so we can choose this square here the middle one on the top row and we're just going to click it and it's going to populate and pop up on our design canvas and then all you need to do is to resize it so once you have all of your template pages set up all you're going to be doing is essentially duplicating the page then copying and pasting your text into the text boxes okay so now one thing to keep in mind when creating ebooks and workbooks in canva is that there is a 30 page limit so if you have a large ebook you have a few options you can create your ebook cover in canva and simply build out say your workbook in Google Docs or pages or even Word or what you can do is you can create two or more separate docs within Canva okay up to the page limit and then you can download them as a PDF and then you can join them together using free tools like smallpdf.com or pdfmerge.com okay and it's just going to allow you to combine those multiple pdfs into one large pdf okay so there is a workaround okay it's a little inconvenient but not impossible to overcome so once you have all of your pages formatted and added you're going to save it by hitting the download button okay and then you're going to be all good